suppose all the pivot variables come last instead of first um, so that means let's say the pivot is not in the first column say it's in the uh, if this is R by R say if it's on the fifth column or something like that describe all four blocks in the reduced row a column form and they tell us that the block B should be an R by R so so if the pivot variables come last Ben you understand what that means yeah they don't necessarily appear on the first column they appear later later on if they appear last that means they're appearing uh, probably in the uh, if we have an R by R yeah what matrix B is an R by R so that just means that uh, B uh, has to be an identity matrix remember because they said it's in the reduced row a column form so everything above and below the pivot has to be zero and the pivots has to be one so that means matrix B uh, has to be an identity matrix R by R whatever R is Say that again. If they appear last, that means they appear not necessarily on the first column and the second column. So if I know that B is, is carrying the pivots and it's an R by R matrix, I immediately know uh, that uh, matrix A will have to be a zero matrix because it's not carrying any pivots Because they said they come later and it's in the reduced form. So that means this has to be a zero matrix and uh, How many rows it will have? Well, it has to have the same number of rows that B has B has uh, R rows and how many columns it will have uh, it will have uh, n minus r right n minus r columns because uh, because matrix b has r columns and the entire size of the matrix is n so the difference will be a they don't have to be the same and which also leads that matrix c as well will have to be a zero matrix because there's no pivots there they said they come last so that makes a C also a zero matrix and uh, what's the size of that matrix well uh, if, if it's an uh, M by N uh, we already have a taking uh, R rows uh, and we have a total of M rows, so this will be M minus R rows times uh, how many columns do we have? Uh, well, this is C under A, so it has to have the same number of columns of A, again, because the pivots come last, so this is times N minus R. So C is M minus R by N minus R. All right. And then, which will make D, uh, D has to be, yeah, you could connect. Uh, 9810, uh, which will make D, D also have to be a zero matrix because I've already located my pivots on the columns of uh, parts of B which means I need to have zero everywhere else because this is in the reduced row a column form so this will be O and uh, this will be um, I have total of M rows I already occupied uh, with B 
I already occupied R, so this will be R rows, so M minus R. And then uh, columns, uh, this has to be uh, B is R by R, and, and B and D are supposed to have the pivots, so this will have to be uh, R columns, so times R. Uh, the password is 9810. So this is my matrix. So in other words, uh, if I could summarize this, my R will be uh, zero identity, zero, zero, block. These are blocks. This is my R matrix. And uh, what's the null space? The null space is uh, the uh, set of vectors uh, that gives a special solution for uh, a x equals zero the matrix times x equals zero so in this case since uh, my pivots are located in the uh, on the identity matrix uh, my null space will be uh, i zero will be I zero. This is the null space. Questions on that? Did you connect? 